So I've been doing um, I've been doing a lot of the um, anti karma prayer uh, this week and uh, praying for uh, praying for forgiveness for the one in me who's inflicted business, financial, and emotional pain on a neighbour. Uh, in this, uh, I pray for forgiveness for one who's inflicted business, financial, and emotional pain on my neighbour in this lifetime and past lifetimes. And that has really stopped any problems with the neighbour now for a couple of weeks. And I can see now uh, that, you know, it's, it's a very, very powerful way of, uh, see, you know, of releasing stuff in life in general. Mm. You know, mm. so, and <coughs> I, was, I was doing the prayer, I re, you know, it, came, it intuitively came to me that this will be a very, very quick way of releasing stuff. And also it's a prism through which to see life. What's the meaning of life? Mm -hmm. And what's the meaning of why things show up for me in life and why I keep on experiencing things in life? Mm -hmm. uh, and as I was doing that, I realized that I was working in the stock market. I was dishonest, I wasn't very honest in the stock market. Mm. And that's probably a, a, a trait I had for many lifetimes, mm. you know. And so I can now see intuitively that just um, as you do the anti karma prayer with whatever th heavy thing that's the pattern that you've got, whether it's illness, whether it's people being uh, stealing from you or being rude to you, or or whether it's work related issues that keep cropping up. You know, if you do the anti karma prayer, then you can. It becomes, it becomes a thing of. Uh, and what I intuit is that it becomes a way of releasing stuff very, very quickly, mm. and it also gives one a frame of taking one hundred percent responsibility, and lets go of the victim mentality yes. that is very entrenched mm. within uh, my ego. Um, which is that things happen in the world by accident mm. and it's mm. unfair and I'm being treated unfairly yeah. and actually if I had the reverse attitude, the, the Atacama prayer has started to develop a reverse attitude that actually I need to be more sorry when things are happening to me because of how I've been in this lifetime and past lifetimes to others. So it actually all of life is giving me clues into um, uh, into what I can the the type of forgiving, humble attitude I need to have to release my karma. So it's like okay, you know, um, and it becomes a it becomes a thing of uh, giving a lot of humility and also uh, wanting to have a totally different attitude of um, clearing stuff from me. And I think this is also reflecting on Dr. Hugh Len and taking 100% responsibility. Mm. And doing the anti-karma prayer, <coughs> I think, leads to, because you're taking 100% responsibility for everything that shows up in life, mm. and it's also like taking ownership. It's like the, mm. the world is giving clues of how I can be of maximum love and service in the world by clearing the data that is uh, showing up in my life. You know, so if I, you know, if someone gives me a file full of prison convict, convicts, murderers and axe murderers and whatnots, then actually it's, an, it's a massive opportunity for me to clear that data for myself and for the collective. So taking on this thing of course, uh, probably it's what a lot of people wouldn't want to hear for what they want to be doing with their lives. But I think for anyone who's a spiritual seeker and is inspired to let go of their stuff and their suffering and do good in the world, I think it, it, it adopts an attitude whereby one can expand to one's ultimate spiritual potential to know that um, everything that's showing up in my life is giving me a clue and if I filter it through the anti-karma prayer, I think I'll be guided to what are the most effective anti-karma prayers I can do to clear stuff with. So, um, 
it's really been giving me a different frame point and it's been um, destroying the victimhood um, consciousness of my ego and allowing me to um, have a sense of curiosity about how I can how I can accept responsibility for what's occurring in my life and then using the anti-karma prayer to really uh, clear, the, clear it within me but I think also will have a benefit, beneficial, I'm sure have a beneficial effect uh, for everyone else because we're clearing uh, karmic mm -hmm. patterns which are quite entrenched. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh.